lubricant uh, field thickness. If uh, the lubricant field thickness is lower than the uh, roughness, this is the, this case, the, the, the lubrication regime is down there. It means that there is a, a constant contact, constant and continuous contact between the uh, uh, surfaces of the uh, of the bag and the uh, mating uh, journal. If uh, the uh, thickness of the lubric lubrication uh, field is about equal to the uh, roughness, we have mixed we have mixed lubrication regime when uh, uh, the contact, metal to metal contact between the two surfaces is intermittent. It is not continuous, but it occurs. This is the mixed lubrication regime. And now the, the last is hydrodynamic lubrication when the oil film thickness is larger than the roughness. And this is what we, what we, what we need. This is the this this is the regime that bank loves. Okay, it works better in this regime than than, than in this regime. <coughs> However, <coughs> sometimes uh, bank <coughs> operates in the mixed lubrication regime. These slides this slide presents the environment of the bearing operation. First of all, as I told, most of the time bearing works in hydrodynamic uh, lubrication regime and it is good. But sometimes the regime is uh, 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 mixed lubrication and there is a direct contact between the shaft and the bearing. It occurs at low RPM and uh, at high loads applied to the bearing. Uh, this, the, the, <coughs> the third uh, mm, uh, condition is cycling loading. It's very important because uh, cycling loading is uh, associated with fatigue. This is the main failure of bearing. And fatigue occurs only when the, the load is cycling. If the load is constant, no fatigue. So the, the, this, uh, uh, this condition is very important. Then increased temperature, the oil heats up as a result of friction and the temperature is increased. And also the presence of particles, foreign particles in, in, in the oil is also important because uh, it increases the wear of bearing. Some materials are uh, uh, able to absorb these particles. Some materials <coughs> do not absorb these particles or absorb, but uh, not all, all the particles. And then uh, crunch up surface roughness. Of course, uh, this is the very important parameter. And not only roughness, but also uh, different uh, uh, geometrical uh, uh, misalignments. These are the factors that change hydrodynamic regime to, to mixed regime of lubrication. Uh, First of all, this is oil starvation. If, uh, if the amount of oil uh, flowing to the bearing is not, is not sufficient, bearing works uh, in presence of oil, but not in the hydrodynamic regime. And this is one of the uh, causes of uh, bearing's failure. S some problems with the uh, oil uh, supply system. Then the high loads. If the load is high, the bearing and the crankshaft uh, surfaces are getting closer to each other and sometimes they, they contact to each other. So the, the lubrication regime changes from hydrodynamic to, to mixed. Low RPM speed. You know that the, the force separating bearing surface from, from the journal this is hydrodynamic force, and uh, uh, it depends on the velocity or the speed of the of the surfaces, relative speed of the surfaces. If if the speed is zero, no no uh, hydrodynamic uh, force uh, uh, forms, and uh, there is no separation. 
So the uh, RPM speed is, is important uh, in, in, uh, in these terms. Low viscosity oil. <coughs> uh, low viscosity oil is good. It's uh, low friction and uh, less energy loss, more efficiency, more horse horsepower. But uh, low viscosity causes uh, it 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 uh, works just like high loads. So the the, the barrack and uh, journal surface is getting closer and sometimes they come to each other. Roughness of, on the bearing and shaft surfaces, it's, uh, uh, of course it, it, it uh, influences on the change of the hydrodynamic lubrication and geometrical, uh, geometric misalignments. Now uh, about wear. Very important. Okay, uh, here you can see different types of wear. First, abrasive wear. There are two uh, two modes of abrasive wear. Two body abrasive wear and three body abrasive wear. This is the three body abrasive wear. Two body abrasive wear is uh, actually the cutting of uh, uh, protrusions of, uh, on one surface, on the harder surface, uh, protrusions on the softer surface. But uh, if there is a, a foreign particle between the two surfaces, it, it is more complicated, but it is still abrasive wear. But it is uh, one of the type of wear. Another type is adhesive wear. Adhesive wear occurs when uh, uh, a bonding, physical bonding or micro welding between the two materials form, forms on, uh, uh, and uh, uh, in this case, if the material continues to, to rotate, continues to, to move, one of them uh, tears the part of the second material, as you see here, this is the bonding, and then this is the wear, a product adhesive wear. This is different type of uh, wear, totally different type of wear. And now fatigue wear, which is a uh, wear uh, accompanied with the uh, fatigue or on the surface and cracks. Corrosive wear, which is accelerated but by corrosion. And the rosy wear caused by impingement of particles, it may be solid, liquid particles, or gaseous particles, which remove fragments of materials from the surface. For example, cavitation, maybe you, uh, you know this uh, kind of uh, bearing failure cavitation, when uh, gaseous uh, uh, bubbles form in the uh, oil and uh, because of uh, sharp changes in in the pressure, in oil pressure, uh, a wave, mechanical wave form in the oil and uh, it attacks the bearing material and this, if the bearing material is uh, soft, uh, it may be eroded by, 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 by such wave, waves. 